studying the Iditarod. Yeah, yeah. Who, who's your favorite musher in the Iditarod? Boy, John Baker's got a lot of fans. How many of you like John Baker? Wow. How, how's John doing? You know that stuff? I think he's in first place right now. That's a good place to be for these kids. All right, now back here where the driver works, there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff. You see this thing here? This is called a drag brake. Now this drag brake is made out of a piece of ski mobile tread. It's an old tread that wasn't any good for ski mobile, but it's really good for a drag brake. And you put it on a bracket. See this bracket here? It goes up and down. I can keep it off the trail by keeping my hand on this rope, or I can let it go right down. What you use that for is to slow the sled down. Now sometimes when you're going down a hill, uh, the sled may tend to go faster than the dogs are running, because you got the sled, you have the driver who's weight, and you might go faster, and you don't want to run up and hit the dogs in the back of the leg. So what you can do is you stand on it, just put your weight right on it. So that friction of the standing on this drag brake slows the sled down. Now if you have a very small team, you can actually stop it. If you had a racing team like six, eight, ten, and so forth, it won't stop it, but it will slow it down. Now, right here is a different kind of a brake. This is a claw brake. It may be hard to see, but this is a piece of wood on a spring, and there's two iron fingers. See the iron fingers sticking down? Okay. You step on that, and that goes right down into the snow and ice. That will actually stop a dog sled. Now there's different kinds, but they all work pretty much the same. Some have a bracket that comes out. Some have a bar with a whole bunch of fingers coming down. But in the end, they're all the same. There's a structure with a spring on it and fingers that hold onto it. Now we also have a parking brake. Can you believe that we have a parking brake? What does this look like? What do you think this looks like? Yeah, what do you think it looks like? It looks like an anchor. Yeah, it looks like an anchor. Well, that's really what it is. It's an anchor. It's a dog sled anchor. So what you do is you put that down into the snow and you kind of kick it real hard so that these pointy things dig into the snow. So this lays flat and these curved pointy things are stuck down on the snow. So that, that's so you can go up front and do something with the dogs. Now sometimes the dogs get all tangled up in their harnesses and you can't have that. So you have to stop the sled, put this anchor in place, and you go up front where the dogs are and untangle them. And then you get back to the sled and go. Now there's a very, 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 very huge, big, important rule when you do dog sled. Anybody guess what that rule is? Huh? Hold the rope on the harnesses? Yep. Basically, the big rule is do not lose the sled. It's very embarrassing if the sled takes off and leaves the driver behind. It does happen, but it's very embarrassing. So when you go up to deal with the dogs, you have to hold on to the sled, and then you hold on to the gang line, that's the rope that the dogs all pull on. You hold on the dog's harness, whatever. You don't ever let go of something. Now if they decide to take off, you may get a free ride down the trail on your face, but you hold on. <laughs> You never let go, and you yell at them to stop. And with his skis, so there's two skis alongside the two runners, and he's being towed down the trail by eight sled dogs. And you know what? It's awfully hard to break the brakes when you have a ski on your foot. 
That's why the piece that I used to deal with, we had a 30 mile range. Now I can hear you better. Yeah, by the way, does anybody want to catch a little bit? Right away, before you go, you're going to get the better, so just calm down. Giving him a donation to the Siberian, Re Siberian Husky Rescue Week. There you so, go. And because Thank you very much. is so good, <laughs> he gets a bone. Wow, you get a bone, Blue. And I